In Arlington, Texas, on the afternoon of August 25, 1992, five-year-old Catherine Douglas was at home with her mother and younger brother. My mommy, she sat us in front of the TV and said, don't open the door to any stranger and do not answer the phone. Then she took a shower. She said, I'm trying to open the door, but it's jammed, so go get me a dinner knife, not a sharp knife, but a dinner knife. Because the sharp knife, I'd probably cut myself with it. Yeah, Mommy. She still couldn't open it, and then she told me to call 911. But I was scared because I've never called 911. Arlington 911, what are you reporting? Well, um, hi, my name is Catherine, and I'm sorry to tell you, I hope you can come and help us. My mommy, she's, she's in the bathroom. Uh -huh. She was just taking a bath, and... She got lost in there. Could she please help us? Her name is Catherine. Okay, Catherine, uh, stay on the phone. I'm going to transfer you over to the fire department, okay? Okay. All right, stay on the line. Arlington 911 operator Mary Smith transferred the call. She can tell by the kid's voice whether it's a prank or not. Catherine didn't sound like a prank. She just sounded like a little kid that was scared and worried about her mom. Address of your emergency. Fire dispatcher Tony Gutierrez took over the call. Okay, who's locked in the bathroom? My mommy. Your mom is? Yes, and I'm very sad. I'm hungry. You're what? I'm hungry, and my mom is locked in there, and I don't know how to make food. First thing I thought of was, okay, are you calling me because you're hungry, or are you calling me because your mom's locked in the bathroom, is what I'm thinking. Is she, um, is she hurt? No. At one point, her voice cracked a little bit. That's when I tried to reassure her that everything was going to be okay. Catherine, how old are you? I'm five. You're five? Mm -hmm. I have a brother, and he's three. He's three? Yes. And y'all are alone there with your mom? Yes. Okay, Catherine, I sent the fire department over to help your mom get out of the bathroom. Can you go to the front door and unlock it so they can get in? Okay, they're going to be in a big red fire truck, okay? Well, I'm scared of fire trucks. Well, I'm scared of fire trucks. Well, they're not going to... They're just... I don't know what to do with fire trucks. Well, the fireman's going to get off the fire truck and walk over to the door, okay? Okay. Maybe that was my mistake in telling her a big red fire truck was going to go out there but I told her it was okay that she wasn't going to have to do anything with the fire truck itself. Yes. Catherine, yes. if you have any problems, would you call me back at 911? Yeah. Okay? Okay, Catherine. Bye. Bye-bye. I got off the phone with Catherine because we were very busy in fire dispatch that? at that point, and I didn't feel that there was any immediate danger and that I could let her go. Within five minutes, Arlington firefighters arrived at the scene, including David Potasik. A lock-in, it's pretty common, mostly with cars, but we don't have that many people getting locked into a bathroom. So that was kind of an unusual call to us. My mommy's in there. Okay, thank you. 
Miss Douglas? Yes, sir. Or was the fire department? She wasn't in any duress of any sort. She was just kind of like, I'm stuck. Get me out of here. <laughs> Dave, why don't you go get some tools? All right. The hinges were on the inside. The uh, doorknob had the screws on the inside. It didn't have the safety mechanism that most of them have, and we couldn't get a hammer underneath the door, so it was a good challenge. <laughs> Work that lock mechanism from this side. They kept on trying to pull out the knob, then they took it off, but they couldn't open it. And I was really hungry then. I'm to 911. What are you reporting? Well, hi. I just wanted to tell you that I'm doing fine, but the firemen, they're just having hard work, and I'm not sure they can get my mom out. Are they there? Yes, but I'm not sure they can get my mom out. It's just taking them longer than she thought it should take them, obviously. 911 operator Sherry Gasky took Catherine's second call. I thought that was darling. I am not sure. If my mom has stayed in there, we couldn't eat dinner, we couldn't eat lunch, we couldn't eat breakfast. And then I would always have to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for my brother. You'd have to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches if she stayed in there? Yeah, that's the only thing that I know how to make. Well, I bet you do that good. If they never got my mom out, me and my brother would starve because I didn't know how to make food except peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and we don't even know the way to the grocery store we don't know which way to go I have to go see how they're doing alrighty bye bye, bye. Mary I got that little girl she's cute isn't she you got your screwdriver what was going through my mind was I was in the bathroom with just my towel and whoever was going to get me out it was going <laughs> to be embarrassing because they were just going to see me in my towel. How often does your mama lock herself in the bathroom? Firefighter James Chadwick had also responded to the scene. All the time? Mm -mm. Y'all eat those things? Two's coming, three's a crowd. And I thought it'd be best if I kept the kids in one place. So I took them in the kitchen and... Uh, I asked them what they liked to eat. It was a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, there we go. Oh, thank you. I think she was ready to get out. I think it was more or less embarrassing to her that it, she had to call us on something that minor. But she came out. She said, excuse me while I go change into something a little bit more uh, comfortable. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I think it's nice that kids feel confident to call 911. I would rather them call and be embarrassed that it wasn't really an emergency than for them not to have called and be sorry that they didn't. Jane Douglas is very proud of what five-year-old Catherine did that day. Although I know my daughter and I knew her capabilities, I still did not know that she was going to react in such a mature manner i was extremely amazed that a child that young can actually help a, an adult a grown-up you're too good how did you do that i don't know i just did it i think i'm a hero because i didn't let my mom stay in the bathroom for the rest of her life Dad, do it. okay oh cool. you shouldn't play by calling 911 because then the police would come and take you to jail or I don't know what would happen. It wouldn't be good.